Hello everyone, hope we're all good. A big shout out to everyone out there who likes, shares and comments on this channel. Welcome to Huddersfield. This is the town centre. So we'll have a little look around here and see what we can come up with. See what's going on. That's that that change. I left that change in there before, lad. That's my change. That you robbing me there? That bloody joke. And you two, Imperial Arcade. You all right, love? Yeah, not bad. Waiting for the bus. Uh, Waiting for the bus. What are you doing there? Almost. You're messing. No. What's going on? Been home since 17th of August since I got out of jail. Why? What happened? Oh, it's a long story. Do you want to tell me? No. How old are you now? 42 now. 42 on the streets since you've been out of prison? Yeah. Didn't probation or the prison service provide any? a little bit of help. Hopefully I'm going to see a property tomorrow. Yeah. So I'm hoping that I get that property tomorrow. What's your name? Estelle. Estelle, a lovely name. Nice to meet you. My name's Billy. Nice. You know, you shouldn't be on the streets like this. Uh-huh. You're cold. Yeah. Have you had something to eat? You've had, have you had a hot drink? Yeah. Okay, so people will be looking after you? Yeah. You all right, mate? Yeah, mate. Yeah. What's your name? What, you some sort of fed, all right? I can fill him in a public place, lad. I'm not saying you can, but what, what are you acting like a fed? Yeah, I'm acting like a fed. Really? You're some big man. Yeah. If you want to shut your doors, if you want to shut your doors, that's, that's up to you. At the end of the day, you're selling poison to the public anyway. So what, what, if we want to go into deeper stuff, it's hallelujah, like, killing people's children. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what it is. Corn pot, uh, co what is it? Popcorn lung. Yeah, it is. Go away from us. We're speaking here, right here, right now. This, is a, this is a public place. Hallelujah. Don't get twisted we've got, in your we, we, We've got every right to speak. <laughs> in a this is your, that's your private property, yeah? Yeah, stay Don't, there. Stay there, but stay this there. is us. Hallelujah. And we're not arguing. Yeah. Not your shop, darling. Whose shop is it? Your shop. Or is it lease? Or is it rented? And then you brought the poison into the premises to feed all these children to get popcorn lung and everything else, eh? Oh, yeah, but that's what I'm trying to say. You work for the devil, my darling, just like this uh, arcade, the next one, next door to you. You see the arcade? It's got, do you know what the roulette table adds up to? 666, hallelujah. And look, she's called, the, called for backup already, like we're, you know what I mean? Here they come, look. That's what I'm trying to say to you, we're just talking. Hey, that's not our problem. I'm good. Good. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let's see what they've got to say. Hallelujah. Then you see what they do for Panani. Let's see if they can move us. Yeah, because we are talking amongst ourselves and she is making it their business. Let's see what we're all in law they're going to bring out. Eh? She's got a leg to stand on. Apologise for before, by the way. They want you to start kissing their ring. I've got a deep voice, it comes with them. Just so you know you're aware that we he's correct yeah, with his information. And we were speaking, I'm hard of hearing, he's got a loud voice. So you're telling us to move ourselves from your property, which we're yeah. not inside. Yeah, no, I'm not from my property. You was? Yeah, you no, go on the cameras, he's there. <laughs> you told us to move away when we were talking, which is unfair. I'm away. You could have just said nicer, though. <laughs> <laughs> you could have just said it nicer. You could, uh, you didn't. In a way, you like to say, move away from our shop. And like we're saying, is we're not in your shop. No, no, this is a, a premises where. It's we like, we, are we undesirables? No, it's just I've got a lot of elderly customers, and I don't want them to not want to come in. 
You've got a lot of elderly but customers. Like I say, but that's a lot of poison in there as well. Like when we come to the truth, that's a lot of poison in there. You know what I mean? And I'd, I'd rather not sell that to the, my kids. What don't even know what they're inhaling, but my kids are buying all this stuff as well at the same time, to be honest, you know what I mean? So when you're trying to condemn, uh, condemn me, and you've got a shop full of poison, then at the end of the day, is you're condicting yourself. I, I can honestly say, yeah. these guys do ID absolutely everyone. So I, I I'm not there. saying ID, I'm just saying what's in the stuff. Yeah. yeah that, so I mean, it's already been a uh, well uh, uh, proven test. That is poison. Well, that's up to that's above my head, I'm afraid, mate. That's I know, that's what, yeah, that's but I'm just trying to give uh, wisdom and knowledge, like I'm trying to say. Yeah, I've already done the research in this stuff. Yeah, but the reality is, she's called you, or someone has, for us to be removed from here for speaking amongst ourselves. Which... I, all I know, to be honest with you, all I got is called someone shouting outside here. I don't know who called, it came over our radio. Yeah, yeah, Couldn't yeah. tell you who it is, honestly, yeah. But you like know, I say, when, when down, I speak. There's no shouting going on. No. So we're always going to go on his way and leave you guys to whatever the hell you're doing. Hallelujah, there, so. thank you very much. Someone just there's no... came up to us and went, oh, shouting down there, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, yeah. And we came along. <laughs> yeah. Just, you know. <laughs> Oh, some, yeah. Sometimes it is a case we'll get called something, we'll get there and it's nothing. Oh, you're right. yeah, you want to go in there? Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. well, I'm Don't block the doorway because yeah. you know you get arrested. Because obviously we have like, <laughs> nothing against filming whatsoever. Yeah, that's all right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. See, some people just take things into their own hands, saying it's their own shop and oh, everything yeah. else. You know, the, you see that power trip, it, it runs through, you know. She's only a well, worker, bless her. Like she don't need a degree. Like you said, you're a public profit here. Film all you want, legally. Thank you. Um, I have no issue filming. Um, Getting people to themselves. Yeah, and that's it. Thank you for your time as well. Appreciate well, you that. You can get it on truth because uh, I've just, uh, I've just uh, condemned a man. I went in to get printed 250, I think 50 quid. He's just sold his soul for 50 quid in sold the printing sold, shop. Uh, yeah. Well, we, we, you see we, what I'm we, trying we to say? We set yeah. off on the wrong foot before. Um, you know, <laughs> we made yeah. amends. So, anyway, I was out of the shop out thingy, but I have a, like, you know, obviously he's. You know, I ain't got nothing against Muslims, yeah? yeah. But the truth is the truth. They're coming here saying that they're the Messiah, yeah? The, the Messiah is Christ, yeah? So at the end of the day is, this is what I, this is what I'm standing with. Do you understand? And I only tell the truth, nothing but the truth. And that's the, that's the, that's the destination of, you know what I mean? Hallelujah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And that's what I'm trying to say, even with all the injections, people, they've all been jabbed up. It's called the third string, the third millennium. Yeah. It's not the third World War, uh, World War III. So with that young girl there, I bet you ask her any money, she's been jabbed, yeah? And that's why she gets turned on, switched on and off. You know, that's what people don't realise is. And that's why I said, come and do what you have to do to me. To understand, that's why I yeah. said it to you. Because if you're coming for me, you're coming for me. I don't care, because you can shoot me, but you can't touch that soul and spirit, you understand? That's a living, and that's why it's called internal. Hallelujah. So what we're dealing with now in the public people, like she thought she could take that authority into her own hands, yeah. because she's got this, uh, authority trip in their heads and it's not just her it's everywhere you're going do you know what I'm trying to say so what it is it's called authority it's like the Keely Council for instance they're meant to be working with the public yeah they're paying so when I ask for a breakdown of, on my uh, council uh, uh, what do they call it council tax yeah they won't send me a breakdown but I'm a customer so the, the, the breakdown is he's thinking but I heard that there was putting money into a place where they're sending weapons over. So it comes out of the Keely Council. Plus, I, why should I have to pay for Pride when I shouldn't have to pay for Pride? But they got a month, but now we're, we're classing that we're bankrupt. Now you're seeing these goat, oh, uh, sorry, uh, people walking around with these trolleys standing there like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Making it, you know, so I thought you was bankrupt. So why are these people standing here just before Christmas like that with a, a hose trying to get out chewing gum? Why don't you give them a shovel and let them do a bit of hard graft. But why am I paying for these people? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to give them a shovel to get it out, do you know what I mean? Why are they standing there like that in yeah. people's ways and they're standing everywhere? So it's a bit like this young lady. Yeah. She, she's, she's, they're falling into traps they don't even know what they're falling into. Yeah. Do you understand? Well, anyway, we're here and yeah. it's, a, it's yeah. a public but, place. Bless really... them for they don't know what they're doing. That's yeah. what I say, yeah? And that's like when they crucified Christ. Even though he was pure, he took everything to the cross. That's what he said. Even still on the cross, he said, bless them, for they don't know what they're doing. And you know what it says? Feed your enemy. Bless your enemy. Hallelujah. How does that, how does that dissolve in, in the truth? Nothing but the truth. You know? Thank you, Brother Lennon. Appreciate your time. Hallelujah, brother. Well, myself and Brother Lennon, we're having a little bit of a uh, controversial disagreement there in the streets, and we were told to move, as you read. But then, you know, we made amends. He's doing his thing. And I'm doing my thing, and it is what it is. Hallelujah. To be fair, I'm not a big fan of vaping. 
was smoking. You know, I've had my first year in the past. Could hardly walk up the stairs when I was smoking. You know, I was out of breath. And you'd have nicotine stains on your fucking fingers. And then the vapes, they were just a pain in the ass. Having to charge them up. You know, now you got the throwaway ones. It's just a fucking fashion accessory, aren't they, really? Kids have got them now. I've seen children as young as 10 smoking them vapes. Shamless. Great, don't they? Yeah, they do. <laughs> is, that what they, is that what they call the street rangers? Street ranger. Pardon? What's your name? Hello, my name is Ruth Quillen. From Bootle. From, well, my husband's from Bootle. <laughs> Formerly married to a scouser. Married to a scouser, not like it. Take care, Ruth. Um, yeah, it's what they call street rangers. Here in Udderfield. The mighty Morphin street rangers. Anything exciting for lunch, sir? What's that, sorry? What have you got? Uh, pork sandwich with some minted taters. Pork sani with some minted taters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nice one. Right. Have a good day. Pork sandwich with some minted taters. <laughs> it's a big old tent. Put themselves a chair. What's that? Tin of tomatoes? Tried mix. What the fuck is that? That was for the dog. That's gotta be. Dobra, dobra. Dobra. Right. What's your name? Yeah, sorry, I can't speak English. Oh. And you're, yourself, you speak English? Never mind. I think that's a get out close that. I can't speak English. So, any sound you want to speak to someone, that's the response you get. You're alright, lads? Say hello. Give yourselves a big shout. Yeah, YouTube, the lads. Come on, let's make you famous. What's your name? What's going on in Huddersfield? Come on, man. Get in. Don't be shy. What's your name? Tinker. Tinker. Yeah, Your yeah. name? Nice Bevan. 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 Come on, brother. Noah. Noah. Tom. So, what are you up to? Much. Just got back to college. Yeah. Just had our lunch break. I like that. I like the sound. Get back to college and enjoy. Watch your YouTube channel. I'll subscribe to you. Billy Moore. That's Yo. it. Oh. 150. Yeah, man. Yeah. He's gonna be flying. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Hey, good job, man. So, that, brother. What's your name, my mate? My name is Balan Rasul. Uh, we just opened up a fresh fish shop in Huddersfield Town Centre. Uh, it's been two, three days. Wednesday, we're doing a grand opening. So feel free to come down. We're doing big discounts. It's a big grand opening about this place. It's been third day we're here now. Yeah. Some big owl fish in there, like yeah. a little. <laughs> Very big fish. Check that one there. Yes. Let's see who this statue here is of. It is Harold Wilson. Prime Minister. Born in other fields. <laughs> Yeah.
I love your hair, by the way. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. How are you? I'm good, my mate. Billy Moore. A little bit of the sounds run down, in it. What was that? Do you know any idea what that show was? Yeah. No. Enjoy that spliff, lad. I can smell it from here. Trying <laughs> <laughs> to get a picture of this. Ah, get at him, all right. What's your name? Kev. Kev is Kev. Enjoying his joints. How are you, Kev? It's good, man. Everyone just. Uh, Everyone's just chilled on the. Yeah. I like that. Just keeps himself to himself. Yeah, man. Nice one, Kev. Where are you from? From Liverpool. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Scotia. Yeah. I'm doing a little bit of filming in other fields, Halifax, and just trying to document real life. You know what I mean? Speaking to people like yourself. Yeah, man. Getting a bit of, you know, the architecture in. What's happened down here? What was that building see there? I don't actually know that. No. No, no. But what about this? What's been? What was there? You know, prior to them knocking it down. I've got no idea, mate. No. no, no. Kev. Like everyone else in others field, no one knows nothing about it. Yeah. <laughs> Take care. Mate. What's your name? Gregory. Gregory, lovely to meet you. Tell us a little bit about Huddersfield. What do you know about Huddersfield? Nothing much. Not much. No. Seems to get that from everyone, really. It's, like, it's got a lot of history, but no one knows nothing about it. <laughs> Tell me something about you. Me, I'm from Liverpool. I spent over 20 years in prison. Mm -hmm. Now I go around and I'm documenting real life on the streets. Okay. Talking to people like yourself, mm -hmm. introducing yourself and... What's your name? Billy Moore. Nice to meet you, Billy Moore. Gregory, yeah. lovely to meet you. This is YouTube, so... Say hello, Gregory. Yes! Where are you from? I'm living on this road now, I'm originally yeah. from London. From oh, London? Yeah. Where about in London? Northwest London. Okay. What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your think of this place now? It's alright. Yeah. What do you think? Me, I've only literally been here about an hour. I'm trying to be as friendly and as approachable as I possibly can with a face like this. Yeah. It's quite difficult. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm giving it a go, Gregory. <laughs> Thanks for your time. So that was Gregory from London, now living in Huddersfield. And like everyone else who's moved here, they haven't got a clue what it's about. Well, there you go. That suspiciously looks like gunshots. And then a rocket launches went right through the middle. Probably not. Probably bricks. This little part of the town looks deserted. Quite desperate. Where the amount of people that just like swerve the camera like the international assassins. 
And you forget that when they're at home, they are taking a million selfies for TikTok and Snapchat and Insta. Can you tell me about others feel, please, lads? Something positive? Um, I don't know, you know. No one positive, no. <laughs> <laughs> do you know anything about others feel? No, it's not the best place. <laughs> Oh, do you know what? I wish I'd come across someone who'd give me a little bit of positive feedback. It's going to be hard finding that round here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Tell me something positive about Huddersfield, please, mate. Ganja. Ganja. There you go. <laughs> Good answer. Take care. Tell us something positive about others feel, my mate. Huh? Tell me something positive about others, apart from the Ganja. That's... Uh, shit, man. <laughs> you put me on a spot here, we're in Huddersfield. <laughs> uh, not the people. Not the people? No. What's your name? Brandon. Brandon, nice to meet you. Everyone's walking around freely, smoking weed. I got it. Yeah, I guess that's the one good thing, they don't care about Ganja around here. No. no. It's in the air. Thanks for your time. No worries, my brother. Enjoy your spliff. Thank you. Have a good day. And you. What's your name and where are you from? Oh, I'm from Leeds, right? Leeds? Yeah. What are you doing in Huddersfield? Huddersfield? Yeah, you're in Huddersfield. Oh, no, no, I'm just waiting for someone. <laughs> How are you? You're okay? Yeah, yeah. Do you need anything? Eh? Do you need anything? Who? Do you need anything? No, no. You good? Oh, yeah. Take care, mate. Don't forget to bend your gum. Thomas Johnson, who died May the 11th, 1837, at the young age of 55. Mary Eliza, daughter of John Harrywell and Mary Carter. She died in 1842. Oh, my God. Age. 15 months, wow. You know, William, their eldest son, who died March 26th, aged 15 years and 11 months. Not no way, Elizabeth Ann, April 9th, 1858, six years and nine months. All babies, oh. No way, lad. You smoking cannabis in, in the public place? No. Yes, you are. No. Admit it, own it, and we'll let you go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you shit yourself. <laughs> Just enjoy your spliff, lad. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible wines with me. You all right? Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm a trans woman from Huddersfield. Um, I go to college and do music. Um, I play drums and guitar. Um, I love everything to do with music and I also What's love... What's your favourite artist? Um, probably My Chemical Romance at the moment, or The Strokes, one or the other. Um, they're just amazing. It's an amazing sound. And you're here chilling in Huddersfield? Yeah. In the church grounds amongst the... Yeah. The crazy weirdos and the cranks and the smoking spliff. <laughs> Occasionally, I guess. Um, I've not really done anything like that in a while. I used to depend on it. Um, but I've managed to turn things around lately. And well. now I'll go out and have a good night yeah. once in a while. But I, I won't do it because I need to. I'll do it because I want to. And is that your birth name, Jamie? Uh, no, it's not. No, that's strange because... I spoke to a few trans, you know, on my travels, and they've all got yeah. female names, and Jamie's more of a boy's name, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so what was you your birth name? If you don't mind me asking you. My birth name was Thomas. Thomas, OK. Um, and, yeah, I... I like it as a name, I just... It wasn't right for me. Yeah, my um, stepson's called and, Jamie, that's why you asked. Yeah. <laughs> when I changed um, my name, I 
didn't really know what I identified as and my gender. It was very up in the air. So I wanted something that was a bit more neutral. So it could either be male, female, whatever. Um, and Jamie was something that I landed on and I stuck with and I loved. This was about three years ago now. Um, and yeah, it, you're happy with it. It's it's me. How did your family? Did your family take it? Really hard when you told them. It no. Just accept um, it. My mum has always been very supportive. progressive yeah. and yeah, supportive. Um, my dad came from quite a conservative background, but when he met my mum, um, he kind of showed her that there is a different way and people can just be themselves. So Jamie's 17 and six foot four. <laughs> Tell you what, I wouldn't want to straighten it with you, lad. <laughs> Take care, Jay. You too. Just goes to show, don't it, that people, you know, really are born, you know, the wrong body, the wrong gender. You know, you want to be a bird and that's it. Let them be. I wouldn't fight them. Anyway, moving on. Looks like a little bit of a mad sun, all that. Anti-what? Anti-bully, stand up against bullying. Stand up against bullying. Anti-bully. Could you buy a little respond? No. OK, so what would me handing over any money to someone for a wristband do to prevent bullying? Absolutely fuck all. It's Christmas, so they're all out of Randy. The worst job ever. Canvassing on the street. It's a pure rejection going on. Hello, so I'm going to introduce you to Tony. So, Tony, where are yeah. you from? I'm from uh, Batley. Batley. Batley? Batley. So, what are you doing up in Uddersfield? Uh, I'm at Cork for domestic with my girlfriend. Domestic. How's that going? Uh, well, I'm going not guilty today. Well, I went guilty last time. I didn't even do that, but she hit me over. Well, last time she hit me, and then when the police come, she said I did it twice, punched her twice, and when I went to court, it made me plead guilty. So I was just sat to him because I felt like punching him. I had to walk out of court. <laughs> <laughs> You're off for assault, and you felt like punching him. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so. Have you pleaded not guilty? I'm pleading not guilty today as well. Yeah. yeah. And is your is your ex-partner? Is she saying enough? Well, I don't think so. No, she said no. Been seeing it. So that. where's the court from here? Is that over there? Just over there. Up there. Okay. So is that why you're just chilling here, are you? Yeah. I've been waiting nine months to be charged. Was charged me three weeks ago, and I don't know why. Do you think you'll get a guilty? Oh, well, I, I can't see me getting a guilty, but I probably will. I don't know, it depends. all depends. Have you been to prison before? I've, I've done 30 years in prison. How long? 30 years. Well, what for? Uh, nicking cars, mainly, and yeah. stuff like that. How old are you now? Uh, I'm 64. 64? Yeah. Have you ever had a problem with the alcohol and the drugs in the past? Yeah, I have, actually. But not really. It got me pinching cars and stuff like that. You've got nuclear nostrils there blowing some smoke, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> You're all right, mate. <laughs> I, 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 we've had a good day out, I just don't understand her attitude. She's, she's in a place where she doesn't want to be, you know, and yeah. neighbours all like Edward on and that, and she hates things. She's very sensitive and yeah. she tends to get in between it all. Is this your mate here? Yeah? <laughs> she comes with me. Is this your friend? Yeah, just, just a, 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 a lad from... Batley? I think he's from Huddersfield. He's from Huddersfield? Do you know him? I don't know him, no, no, I don't know him. I just said hello to him, that's all. I'm very right polite, very right nice to Is people there. Oh, OK, I know you're out, so... Try to be. You did, you were to me, and I, and I appreciate that, thank you. We're just going to have a little wander around Well, season. last last time I went to jail, and they stabbed me up in that, it was a nightmare, you know. He stabbed you up? Uh, one of their ex-boyfriends, and then they were sat in the house when I went up. <laughs> I'm the last time I went up. 
toxic in it by the sound of it. Yeah, well, a bit of a toxic relationship. Yeah, yeah. well, you know, what a lot of... We've all been in them it's relationships. It's all mental health, really. She's got issues with all her neighbours up that end, and she, because of everything she's done to me, so I'm like, you know, she's not, he's not with her no more, but she was sacked in, but then she started sacking me. And I used to be able to grip hold of her, but she's getting bigger than me now, so... <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit difficult. We usually have a good time, not now. It's just when things that, where she was, uh, she tends to take the life out on me, and then things now, I don't know why. So be that punch time, bag. That time, <laughs> no, yeah, like a punch bag. Yeah. Well, the, 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 she gets angry. That's all. She's an angry bird. She's nasty. She was nasty when I met her, but we've been together 20 years of, of like. There's no ways than having to go to court, is there? I fell in love with her and that would it, you know. Do you still love her? Yeah, of course I love her. Tell love her in court. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's all going on here, don't you? You know what's all going on in here? Yeah. I don't know what's going on today. Get yourself in there, Tony, and yeah. free the feet. I'll, get, I'll face it. I'll find not facing it, but I'm going to go away again and not being able to spot it. Get in there and sort it out, lad. Go on. I'm watching you. Sounds very similar to my cousin's story, our Judy. And his bed. Just toxic, codependent chemical romances that just ends up fucking in a bad way. Anyway, move it on. Well, right, that's it. Hood's over and out. Big thank you to everyone who supports the channel. Take care. What's happening, lad? You are okay? Yeah, so appreciate everyone who supports the channel. Thank you and take care.